Hi everybody, Tech Tim here with Northridge 4x4, and today we're gonna take a look at the Dometic CFX50 portable fridge in this episode of What's in the Box. It doesn't matter whether it's a weekend trip or an extended overland adventure, when it comes to keeping your grub cold, there is nothing like a portable freezer fridge. Fridge freezer, doesn't matter what you call them, having cold grub and beverages on the trail is huge. And a portable freezer fridge is the way to go. So let's take a close look at the fridge, how it's packed and what comes with it. The Dometic fridge shows up at your doorstep in this beautiful glossy box that has all kinds of specs on the outside, blah, blah, blah. But we're more interested in what's on the inside. We open it up, We've got some cardboard on the top. Then the fridge itself is wrapped in plastic. And if we pull it out, the Dometic CFX 50 weighs 45 pounds. So it's got a little heft to it, but it's not so bad at all. Out of the box, the first thing to notice is the stout poly outer shell and heavy duty details like reinforced corners, stainless steel hinges, and spring-loaded handles that automatically fold down when not in use. There's a handy USB port to charge your small electronic devices, and as with all newer electronic devices these days, it can be controlled with the Dometic app on your phone. The Dometic fridge has a side opening lid, making access very easy. You can also switch the lid from one side to the other. The side opening requires less headroom and less reach to access the contents. Another bonus is no clunky latching mechanism either. It's just a simple finger catch. We find the user manual and both the 12 volt DC and the 120 AC power cords. Use the 12 volt DC when traveling in your rig and use the 120 volt AC when you're using it in your garage or your house as a spare fridge. The Dometic CFX50 comes with a heavy duty wire basket with the divider panel and crisper section above the compressor motor. The divider also allows you to separate your foods for better organization. Let's plug this thing in and fire it up. With the fridge plugged in, we press the power button for a couple seconds and the power comes on. Now the 61 degrees Fahrenheit, that is the ambient temperature currently inside the fridge. Seems how we just pulled this out of the box and it's a warm day, well that kind of makes sense. Now if we hit our set button once, that's where we can adjust our temperature, our desired temperature we want the fridge to be at, up or down. If we hit our set button twice, this is where we can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, depending on where you're at. If we press our set button three times, that gets us into the battery monitor mode. We can go high, medium, or low. If we hit our set button four times, that gets us into dimming on our digital display, either low, medium, or high. And if we hit our set button five times, that's where we can turn our Wi-Fi on or off. And all these functions can be controlled with your phone via the Dometic app. Yep, there's an app for that. And it makes the fridge adjustments real simple, right from your hand. The app also alerts you to low battery functions and even will warn you if you didn't close the lid. Now for efficiency and long life, the Dometic CFX50 uses an energy efficient Dan Foss compressor for the cooling duties. It is so efficient that you can keep the Dometic CFX50 running with only a properly sized portable solar panel. Now that's some real off-road independence. There's also a three level low voltage cutoff that helps prevent the fridge from draining your battery flat. Capable of keeping your perishable foods cold your on-the-trail beverage is cold, and your after-the-trail around the campfire adult beverage is at that perfect drinkable temperature. The Dometic CFX50 is ready for your adventures. That's about all the time we have for today's episode of What's in the Box. So be sure to click the link below, find out more about the Dometic CFX50 and about the other lines of freezer fridges we carry here at Northridge 4x4. Until next time, thanks Northridge Nation.